Hi everyone, Peter here from Flow High Performance, and in this video, we will cover if strength gains can be used as a gauge for muscle growth. First, we need to explore what components contribute to the expression of strength. Well, essentially, we have anatomical factors that can influence strength and adaptations that we can induce from training. Anatomical factors are things that we are born with and cannot change with training. These factors can predispose an individual to naturally be stronger or weaker. The first anatomical factor that can influence strength is bone structure. The length of the limbs relative to the torso can influence strength by altering the mechanical efficiency. For example, short femurs are beneficial for squatting strength or long arms are beneficial for conventional deadlift strength. The other primary anatomical factor that influences strength is the muscle insertion points. Individuals can have differences in where the muscle attaches onto the bone. While we won't go into the details of how this influences strength, it should be understood that small differences in muscle insertions can have fairly significant influences on strength. The second category of factors that influence strength are training adaptations. These are trainable qualities meaning that we can improve them to increase our strength. The first is neural efficiency. This refers to how well the nervous system can recruit the muscle fibers in a coordinated manner. This can be improved by practicing the specific movement pattern that you're trying to get stronger at. Neural efficiency is acquired fairly quickly and a trainee can only become so efficient at a lift before they maximize this adaptation. The second adaptation that contributes to the expression of strength is muscle size. A bigger muscle means that there is more tissue to contribute to force production. So a bigger muscle has more potential to be strong because the nervous system has more tissue to become efficient with. So we can now see that there are many more factors which contribute to strength than just muscle size. So we certainly cannot say that muscle size is directly correlated to maximal strength. However, an increase in strength may be a good indicator for muscle growth. This is because the other contributing factors are fairly constant. The anatomical factors cannot be changed and therefore are always constant. And the neural adaptations will plateau once the trainee is fairly experienced with the lift. Therefore, once trainees become efficient at a certain lift, increases in strength can probably be attributed to gains in muscle size. However, we also know that muscle growth is best achieved in the 6 to 20 rep range, not the 1 to 5 rep range. This means that increases in strength in the 6 to 20 rep range are a better indicator of muscle growth than one rep max strength. Now that we understand that strength gains in the 6 to 20 rep range can be a good indicator of muscle growth, let's now explore how we can practically use this data for our hypertrophy training. The first way we can use strength to gauge hypertrophy is to look at week to week performance. Here we are looking for increases in reps performed over the course of a mesocycle, with other variables remaining the same. For example, let's say a trainee performs a back and bicep training session each week involving the bent over row, lat pull down, and dumbbell bicep curl. This trainee performs four sets of each exercise, except for the deload week, and takes each set one to two reps before failure. Over a five week mesocycle, the trainee may perform the following reps. As we can see here, the reps increase slightly on average over time, and all other variables have remained the same. Therefore, assuming the trainee is familiar with these exercises, we can probably attribute this increase in performance to muscle growth. Trainees shouldn't expect progress to increase dramatically from week to week unless they are performing an unfamiliar exercise. The other way we can use strength to gauge hypertrophy is to look at strength in the 6 to 20 rep range from month to month and year to year. If a trainee is gradually using more weight with the same exercises over time, then they are probably seeing muscle growth. For example, if a trainee can perform 80 kilos on the bench press for 8 to 10 reps with good strict form, then a few years later they are using 100 kilos in the 8 to 10 rep range with the same strict form, then they have likely increased the size of their chest, triceps and delts. Thanks for watching and hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already.